Okay, everybody, get out of my way. Clear the road. I am absolutely into something big. When I get into something, I don't fool around. I go in there all the way and dive into it. And after being really heavily into vinyl since I've had my channel here, I am now back into compact discs. And we're going to go through a lot of compact discs. But let me assure everybody out there, some of you might be worried. Oh, no, he's not into vinyl anymore. Or he's not going to be buying vinyl. He's not going to be showing vinyl. I still will be collecting vinyl. Uh, but these things sometimes in life, they come in waves. They come in different periods. Now, just to recap my channel for those who don't recall, when I started this channel back in 2012, that's roughly about eight and a half years ago now that I've been making this channel, I had gone off CDs and I had rediscovered vinyl. So vinyl was almost like uh, an old friend coming back that I hadn't visited in like 25 years. I mean, I hadn't bothered with records for from like, geez, I don't know, 1986 till 2011. 1986, though, originally, I discovered the compact disc. And I, I was sold on the compact disc. Uh, I got rid of all my vinyl in 1986. I tried to convince all my friends that the CDs were the wave of the future. It turns out they were. Whoever knew, though, that vinyl would make a, another comeback in the 2000s, right? But I, I really decided I was going to start this channel based on vinyl originally. And here I am now, uh, after eight and a half years, discovering discs. Again, rediscovering discs, proper way to put it. How did that happen? I'll, well, I'll try to explain it best I can. I don't know. About a week ago, sometime last week, I was in my record store. And they had uh, just gotten in the shipment of uh, Tom Petty's Wildflowers. It's uh, now available. And it's uh, you know, a big compilation. Uh, it has a lot of it has the regular album and it has a lot of extras and stuff like that. So I was noticing uh, first a four CD set, which is nice and compact, and then I saw I think it was a nine LP set next to it, which was a monster and just really ridiculously oversized. Let me put it to you like this because uh, last week I wound up taking some footage in the store. Check it out. Look at the size of this Tom Petty Wildflowers collection on vinyl. Sometimes, oh my God, sometimes it really makes you wonder if you should get this big bulky stuff. I just settled for the CD. You know? What a difference. Okay, so that's really the deal. I, I don't know why I just said, uh, you know, you got something so neat and compact, compact disc, and compared to this big giant monstrosity, and mostly a monstrosity because it was nine vinyl records, not two or three or even four, but nine, and very heavy, very bulky, and I started remembering how much I liked CDs, and uh, I, I, I had been thinking for some time that I was going to buy back a lot of old CDs and that's where I'm at at this this particular point I, I went through all the rows A to Z and uh, we're in a very fortunate place these days because nobody wants CDs people are trading in their CDs and selling whatever nickels and dimes they can get for them and uh, unloading them so that to us they're very cheap now used CDs at this particular point go anywhere from one dollar to three dollars maybe for the more expensive one five six seven dollars eight dollars tops in some cases where they look brand new so i went to town and i said i'm going to get everything that i want this this is this is this is so involved that i really don't even know how much i, I can tell you without leaving something out um to show you that i'm not really ever going to be done with vinyl after i bought all of the cds i'm about to show you i saw this uh, it's Stevie Nicks 12 inch record I can't wait it's not one of my favorite uh, Stevie Nicks songs by any stretch of the imagination but it's okay and I said I gotta have this she looks great on it you know typical 80s hair you know this looks great and 
I'm showing you this before I show you the CDs to let you know I have not lost my love and appreciation for the vinyl record. And I'm going to keep on buying vinyl records. But the goal here is going to probably be, from this point on, okay, that when it comes to the Beatles and the solo Beatles, my main collectibles, I will always continue to buy vinyl. I'm going to continue to stock up on vinyl, new and old, the Beatles. So you Beatles fans out there don't worry about that that's not changing at all going to be a lot of beatles vinyl and solo beatles vinyl still making these videos but when it comes to regular artists for example let's start with this one on cd alanis morissette jagged little pill one of my favorite albums from the 90s when you don't hear me say that very often um i already have this on cd but this is a, a better upgrade by the way um an album like this, I probably will never buy on vinyl again. You know, I have it on vinyl, by the way. I do. But in the future, going forward, I probably will not buy something like this on vinyl anymore. Um, I'll show you some other things I picked up. Okay, we have a Simon and Garfunkel concert in Central Park. I have a vinyl of this also. I'll probably ace the vinyl. I think for collector's purposes what i'm going to do is i'm going to stick with the beatles i'm going to stick with elvis presley collecting vinyl i'm going to joan jett and the black cards this some other artists i want to have all their vinyl uh, most of it anyway uh bob dylan uh tom petty and the heartbreakers and there's going to be some occasional albums i'll want as i show you this other one i picked up here greatest hits patty Smythe featuring scandal Okay, I think this covers it. This covers it so well. I mean, it has all the stuff I want on it. Compact discs from the very beginning. I liked how small they were. I liked how convenient they were. I liked the sound quality. You know, the thing about vinyl that I really love so much is mostly the artwork, the size. To me, personally, I just think a record is really cool. And I think it's fun you know, to handle a record, to play a record. You have to actually interact with the record. You got to put it on the turntable. You got to take the stylus and put it on. You have to. You watch it spin. You can while you're enjoying the music. You can also appreciate the labels, different variety style of label, and you can watch the label spin around. That's what I like about vinyl. When it comes to the sound quality of vinyl, I like the sound of vinyl as well, especially if you have a really good sound system. But um even with a great sound system there's no denying sometimes you're going to get surface noise sometimes you're going to get scratching sometimes you're going to get popping and hissing what i'm trying to say is that uh, although i still love vinyl and sometimes vinyl sounds more warm and the warmth of vinyl is better than anything sometimes when, when you've got a good system and a good vinyl record nothing beats the sound i still go by that however cds are almost always clean you know as we look at the bangles what is this called? This is called everything, right? Um, on CD. Foreigner. Something like this from Foreigner. All I want from Foreigner is this. Foreigner, the, the hits. You know, called records. B-52's Cosmic Thing. Now, this is a case where I want the actual album. The whole album. I mean, not on vinyl, but the album. Um, I like this particular record, and I'm, I don't need the vinyl of it. There are, like I say, there will be uh, exceptions from time to time. Now we're going to go to Julian Lennon. I'm trying to, like, uh, complete, more or less, my Julian Lennon collection. And he has The Secret Value of Daydreaming on CD. And we have here Mr. Jordan. These are... CDs I got cheap, you know, because nobody wants CDs anymore, right? And I do believe, I will also mention at this point in the video, that I believe that CDs will have another uh, renaissance. I believe they will come back. Here's uh, Help Yourself, Julian Lennon. Okay. I got uh, The Best of John Denver. I don't think this is particularly the best of, of the best CDs that he has. Um, this is an example, folks. All This is all I want or need. I, I, I'm not going to buy three or four vinyl records anymore just to have all the hits. And I'll show you a few examples of that as we go along. Here's another one. The very best of Prince. I'm not a big Prince fan, not at all. But I do like Prince somewhat. I respect him. And Raspberry Beret is my favorite. But having 
something like this, this I'm good to go. The sound quality will be excellent. And everything is here on the compact disc. Um, and as you know, if you're listening to this particular disc, say it's 17 tracks, you listen to it and you say, well, I don't want to hear it. I like tracks one, two, three. I don't like four, five, six. Skip, skip, skip. Just press it at the touch of a button. You can skip them. Amazing to hear myself say these things after being here on this channel. Uh, so supportive of vinyl for so long. Peter, Paul, and Mary. And that's uh, 10 years together, like a hits collection. Uh, Gary Puckett, The Union Gap. This has everything I need by Gary Puckett, The Union Gap. You know, what, what, what do I need more? Do I need like two or three vinyl albums? No. Neil Young, Harvest Moon. Uh, and Neil Young, in some cases, I think I might want vinyl too. Again, I want to stress for people that love vinyl uh, the most that this channel is not going to stop buying vinyl altogether. I'm not going to stop buying vinyl altogether. I, you know, I might want Harvest. I still have Harvest already on vinyl. I'll keep that one. Certain, certain ones I'll keep. I'll buy certain records because I want them on vinyl. I'll buy certain, maybe even buy certain records because I just get something nostalgic out of having the record or a collector's piece. Okay, this is uh, Rick Nelson. Compilation of Rick Nelson. I think I'm good to go on this. Although this seems to be earlier Rick Nelson, if I know my Rick Nelson at all. This is uh, going to be a first-time listen at some point. I've never heard this album. Uh, Alanis Morris said again. This one is Under a Rug Swept. And I really am not familiar with that. That's going to be a new listen at some point. Billy Joel. I'm going to get all his albums at some point on CD. And there it is. Cold Spring Harbor. Some of them I may want to keep for Billy Joel on uh, vinyl. Now, another artist, The Monkees. I'm collecting The Monkees on CD again. Here's Headquarters. And when it comes to The Monkees, I will indeed wind up buying all The Monkees vinyl, keeping The Monkees vinyl that I have. There's just certain artists for whatever reason, and it's all personal. You know, and I never can say this. What is it? Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn, and Jones limited did i say that right uh you know that's a tough title to remember and to say but i know i have these on vinyl and i'll keep them on vinyl it's just we we don't know why we have favorites or why we keep this don't keep that but this is frankie valley now uh frankie valley in this particular case is romancing the 60s and i think he's doing uh old songs here but the thing is I think this is a newer album. I think it's re-recorded. I think it's him doing songs as he's older. So we'll see how that sounds. That's another risk. Now something like this, ZZ Top Greatest Hits, one and done. CD, one and done. You know I like the hits. That's it. I got the ones I need on here. And that's it. Here's something I bought completely for a laugh. I came across this alphabetically. Tiny Tim. And it's uh, called... Uh, girl, and this is one of the funniest, most ridiculous albums I've ever heard in my life. It's not meant to be funny or ridiculous, but it is. It's got Tiny Tim singing the song Girl, and you should look that up on YouTube if it's on. It's the funniest thing you'll ever hear. It's a terrible version. He sounds like Mr. Ed the Horse. <laughs> oh, girl, girl, Wilbur. It's the most ridiculous thing you ever heard. You have uh, Stairway to Heaven on here, Led Zeppelin Stairway to Heaven. You have uh, New York, New York, Over the Rainbow. You have Hey Jude on here. You want to get a laugh? Listen to this. Some albums we buy just for fun. Now, here's a, a, a one that a lot of people will appreciate, I think, to a degree. Here it is, The Best of the Doors. That's it, folks. That's all I need. It's a two-CD set. I looked, and uh, I'm good to go for The Doors. This takes care of me. You know, I think I have some Doors vinyl. I mean... You know, I appreciate the big songs by The Doors, but I don't really know if I need all of it. The Loving Spoonful, same thing. Summer in the City, this will take care of it. Now, I want to say, I know that there were some CDs that were out there by, I think it was Rhino, Rhino Records or something like that. Rhino or some other similar uh, company who put a lot of these really quality ones out. One of them I keep thinking of is The, the Rascals. And those are really the best compilations to get. I mean, I picked some of these up, but I probably could have waited um to find different ones the cream of clapton i have a, a two eric clapton cds that i bought this is one of them cream of clapton 
Um, I used to have this, you know, before I switched over to records. I mean, I also picked this up. Time Peace is the best of Eric Clapton because it's got uh, Lay Down Sally on here, among other things. I don't think Lay Down Sally is, a, is on the other one I just showed. I'm not sure, but I don't think so. So now we're going to show you a bunch of Bob Dylan real quick. Okay, there's Bob Dylan, the first album on CD. Now, Bob Dylan, as I said earlier, I'm going to keep the Bob Dylan vinyl that I have, and I'll continue. I probably want to complete more or less almost the whole Bob Dylan collection. Here's Tempest, an album I love on CD. I have the vinyl. Now, here's Bob Dylan, Together Through Life. I'm going to go through these pretty quick because we're getting on in time. Desire. Oh, Mercy. I even picked up the Essential Bob Dylan because this has a nice compilation if you want to just hear just some of the big songs. Here's Love and Theft, which I've never heard yet. I hear it's very good. And I even picked this up because it was like $2 or something. Uh, Bob Dylan's Greatest Hits when you just want a quick fix of the biggies. Bob Dylan, Modern Times. Um, and this was something I picked up. and I played this a week ago in my record store when I went in there. And boy, did I love the sound of her voice on this. Judy Collins, Bob uh, Bob Dylan, Just Like a Woman. Uh, she sings Bob Dylan songs, and it is beautiful. I just love what I heard so far. Okay. Uh, also, as I show you a few more, what I like about CDs is that I can play them in the car. And I know people are going to say, well, they're making new cars. The new cars you buy, you can no longer... Uh, do that. You can no longer have CD plays in the car. I'm going to try to find a place that will install a CD player. If they can't install a CD player, I'll buy a portable one and have it connected by wire. I'll do something. Now, here's an, an example of where CDs are now coming in really handy for me. Super hits, Men at Work. Now, Men at Work uh, have all the stuff I need. There, there are like two or three albums, I think, by them. At least two. I don't know if there are three, but I have. I think I have them on vinyl. I'm getting rid of them. Don't need them. Uh, I like Who Can It Be Now, Down Under, Be Good Johnny, Overkill, and It's a Mistake. So that's it. I like five songs by Men at Work. Why own three vinyl albums? It's all on here. You know what I mean? And in great sound quality. But in a case like that, just as an example, if for some reason I had a, a nostalgia attachment to a having the vinyl album. Maybe I bought it in 83. Maybe I remember going to the clubs and enjoying Men at Work uh, in 83. In that case, I might hold on to it. It's all subjective and how you feel about it. This is an interesting uh, CD, The British Invasion, uh, The Sullivan Years. You got a whole lot of artists on here that do uh, The Sullivan Show. And you have artists here like uh, Billy J. Kramer with the Dakotas, Herman's Hermits, The Searchers, Jerry and the Pacemakers, Peter and Gordon, Freddie and the Dreamers, and the Animals doing versions on here. Here's a ELO, okay? The uh, Definitive Collection, two CD set. All right. So, yeah, you can see I'm getting into this big Fleetwood Mac's greatest hits, you know? Fleetwood Mac is somebody I, I may also choose to keep the vinyl. Or, and, and, you know, it depends. I'll let you know as I go along. Some of these I might already have, but I'm just rebuying them because I don't know. You know, um, Negotiations and Love Songs, a collection of the best of Paul Simon. Tom Petty. I mentioned Tom Petty before. I want to try to get a lot of Tom Petty albums. Maybe the whole shebang on vinyl as well. Here's the first album with Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Um, here's Into the Great Wide Open, Tom Petty, Heartbreakers. Now we're going to show some Elvis Presley. Here's Elvis Presley, Loving You. This is an extended disc. It has the movie songs on it, but it also has other stuff on it. All right. Well, still looking, folks. Hold on. Now we got this whole set of Elvis's double features movies. Okay, so you got uh, Flaming Star and Follow That Dream. And over here you got uh, Kid Galahad and Girls, Girls, Girls. Okay. Now Elvis Presley, as I said earlier, I'm going to keep all my vinyl because I collect. I'm a collector as well as a listener. You know? Okay. So uh, Roust About and uh, what did the other one say? Viva Las Vegas, of course. Uh, Harem Scarum and Girl Happy. Not wild about Harem Scarum songs, but I do like the Girl Happy songs. 
Um, here's the first album, Elvis Presley. I bought this brand new. I took the cellophane off. It's also got uh, some bonus tracks on it as well. Uh, Rolling Stones. Let's go with the Rolling Stones. We have here Goat's Head Soup. Rolling Stones are another group. I may choose to keep the vinyl, I think. You know what? As I say, not abandoning vinyl altogether. Some girls. I even picked up uh, Jump Back, Best of the Rolling Stones. Just something, like I say, just a hits compilation when you're in the mood for hit, just big songs. Um, Sticky Fingers. Probably keep the album, vinyl album with the zipper on that for, you know, the novelty of it. Uh, Steel Wheels. I'll pop this on so much more. The Hot Rocks Collection, 64 to 71. Um, you know, folks, I mean, I, also with the Stones, a lot of people are going to tell me, I know they've remastered these. I know they've put them out again. But, folks, I am a fan of the jewel cases. I'm sorry. I like the plastic jewel cases. Um, in some cases, I'll buy the cardboard, uh, dig, what are they called, digipacks, whatever they call those stupid things. But I like these the best. And I think that's all she wrote for this particular video. But that's it. And I want to sum up. Before you leave, I want to sum up again what I said at the beginning. Not abandoning vinyl. I am cutting down vinyl. Uh, in some cases, especially certain new releases that are not Beatles related, I probably will stick with the CDs. But there's always going to be those special albums that are just, they, they grab at me and they beg me, please take me home, you know, because I, you know, I need a home, you know. There's certain old vintage records of the 50s and 60s I'm going to have to buy on vinyl. Just want to have, we're going to want to have them. Uh, but I think I'm going to purge a lot of this stuff here and uh, make more room for Beatles and Solo Beatles vinyl. You'll see. Just watch my channel as, as this goes on. Uh, you know where uh, I'm going to go now? I'm going to have to go and uh, catalog these some way and find space for them. Uh, because i got to find a way to store the CDs now. I um, don't have much CD room now. But I'll be making more room as I get rid of the vinyl. I'll talk more about this in future installments, folks. So I'd like to hear your comments. Take care.